Hi, I'm Liv. I'm here to tell you about the Thrifty Notion July Fabric Collection. These are our most favorite summer inspired, fun, bright, happy fabrics and we're excited to share them with you. So a lot of these are vintage and are in vintage condition so you'll need to pay attention to listing information and things like that and I will do my best to let you know about things like that, any kind of damage or things you need to be aware of as I talk about the fabrics in this video. So let's get started. First up, this is a very interesting vintage chintz. Chintz is a polished cotton and that's what this is, but it's also been, we think, just pressed or possibly woven into this very cool spiral pattern. Uh, we call this one Tornado Watch because that is summer in Kansas. <laughs> but because it is chintz, that shiny finish on it will wash off. And this one, because it is this kind of pressed texture, probably will lose some of its texture as well. We did test wash a piece of this and it came out still with the texture in it, but it was wrinkly. And I don't know that the texture would stay once you ironed the wrinkles out. So something to be aware of, maybe do home deck with this or something experimental if you're gonna use it for fashion fabric, but we have quite a bit of it and it is cotton. We have two more chintzes in this collection. This very cool kind of pigeon chintz. Very retro and fun. Oh, here we go. And then our last chintz is this pretty gold metallic on green. All of these are kind of similar in weight to quilting cotton, but they have that shiny finish on them. Next, I'm gonna do our two oddballs, just so I don't forget about them. I'm only calling them oddballs because there's just one of each type. This large bolt of pretty kind of indigo blue is a rayon faux linen, and it is a really good fake. In fact, I'm wondering whether it was on the wrong bolt. So it's either linen or it's rayon, but either way, it breathes. It has this amazing drape and it feels really good. It's only gonna get softer the more you wash it. So we have quite a bit of this one. We called it culottes because we thought that would be a really good use for it. Our second one-off fabric is this cotton twill and it's a very kind of lightweight twill. Twill is just the weave of the fabric. It's got kind of a diagonal pattern in it, but this would be great for button-up blouses. You could also do skirts and things like that with it. It's an excellent fashion fabric. Once again this week, we have some more of these really fun, bright, colorful cotton jacquards. So these patterns in these fabrics are woven in and that makes them reversible. So you can see on this yellow one that if you're not really into wearing yellow, you might be more into wearing like a royal blue. So you have options. You can also do a lot of fun things with pockets and kind of contrasting facings and collars and things like that. So Basically, you get two fabrics in one, which is really fun. These jacquards can also be used for quilting. We have two Silky Polly's this time around, and Silky Polly's are good for making anything you would make out of silk. Super nice drape, very soft and slinky and nice against the skin, but they can also be used as linings. So both of these have this amazing drape. They're kind of lightweight lingerie, um, swishy, fancy blouses and dresses are wonderful out of these. Next is an entire stack of cotton shirtings. These are all lightweight cotton, slightly similar to quilting cotton, although a couple of them are just a little bit lighter weight than that. This one in particular is pretty great. It's called Town Square. It's got a very vintage vibe to it. It's just all these kind of city buildings. Very fun, pretty. This one especially is a little bit more like quilting cotton, so you could use it for quilting or you could do any kind of garment. You're just gonna have to do more pressing anytime you launder it. So we have a whole stack of fun stripes and solids and plaids that are all in this nice lightweight cotton shirting. Sundresses, shirts, blouses, all that stuff is great out of this. Our next batch is cotton canvas, and you can see we have some kind of narrower width 
vintage ones and then we have a brand new like warehouse dead stock uh, wider width kind of a home deck vibe cotton canvas can be used for home deck you can do things like shorts overalls pants it's really versatile for all kinds of good stuff it feels nice and it gets softer the more that you wear it and wash it so several colors prints plaids kind of loving this vintage print here we have one big bolt of a polyester taffeta. Taffeta is a full bodied fabric. It's not very heavy weight, but it's pretty stiff. So, and this one's pretty noisy. These are more for like poofy formal things or home deck if you want a really kind of bright and formal drapery, this would work, but full skirts, poofy sleeves, all those things go great with this very twirly type fancy things are great for taffeta. Next up is a whole batch of slubby woven cottons. They're a little bit like homespun, but they're kind of chunkier actually. Um, they're sort of loosely woven, so if you hold them up to the light, you can see light through the weave, but they actually have a fair amount of weight to them. They're just, they get softer and, and have more drape the more they get washed. So we have a few that are quite vintage. These are from our Seal Peterson collection. There's this one that almost reads as terry cloth, but it's it's a woven, and we really only have enough here for one person. This one's called Blue Skies. It's this nice variegated blue. And it has a friend that's pretty similar called Summer Shandy in a yellow. Very slubby and textured, quite nice. Things like shorts would be very comfortable and fun out of these. And then we have this great big woven cotton in the back. Great for things like a, a lightweight throw or really like a barn coat or a, a jacket, shacket, or shorts again. Overalls would be really fun. Kind of those loosely fitting hippie style overalls are really cute out of things like this. And then our final fabric is hanging on the wall behind me. It is this border print terry cloth. Amazing vintage find. There's only just a little bit of it, enough for probably just one person, but you could either just hem it up and use it as a beach towel exactly the way it is, or you could do one of those amazingly adorable vintage like swim wraps or like a bathrobe out of it. It would be super, super, super cute. So this one rather obviously is named Blue Rose, and that is our final fabric for this collection. Happy sewing.